Hello, I welcome you all to your own channel MSK Learning. In this video, we will solve one problem which is related to the gyroscopic effect. So we have a problem on the screen. A ship propelled by a turbine rotor has a mass is 5 ton and a speed of 2100 rpm. The rotor has a radius of gyration of 0.5 meter and rotates in a clockwise direction when viewed from the stone. Find the gyroscopic effect. First case, the ship sails at a speed of 30 km per hour and is steered to the left left in a move in a curve having 60 meter radius the second case the ship pitches the ship pitches 6 degree above and 6 degree below the horizontal position the bow is descending with maximum velocity time period is 20 second right the third case is the ship rolls and at a certain instant it has an angular velocity of 0 0.03 radian per second clockwise when viewed from the stern also determine the maximum angular acceleration so you have a problem is given which is related to the novel ship right in this the all three cases we we have that is the ship is steering ship is pitching and ship is rolling so the ship is having mass is 5 ton is given and the speed of the rotor is 2100 rpm is given and the radius of gyration is 0 0.5 meter and it is rotating in clockwise direction when the ship is sails the speed is 30 km per hour and the radius of curvature is 60 meter right and when it is pitching the 6 degree above and below the pitching is 6 degree above and below and the time period is 20 second and when it is rolling the angular velocity is 0 0.03 right so first of all we have to find out the gyroscopic couple so gyroscopic couple in case of the uh, steering you know c is equal to i omega omega p right so first we will calculate the mass moment of inertia right and then we will calculate the angular velocities of precision so first of all we will write down the given data that what are the given data you have so we will write so here we go solution right that is given data given data right so the ship has mass is equal to what m is equal to 5 ton right which is nothing but the 5000 kilogram right and the speed is given that n is equal to 2100 rpm right so from here you can calculate the angular velocities okay that is omega is equal to what 2 pi n by 60 that 2 pi n is 2100 by 60 radian per second so this value will got that is 220 radian per second all right and then you have a radius of gyration is given that k is equal to 0 0.5 meter these are the data is given first case is what first you have a ship is uh, steering right so first case we'll see that is ship is a steering so first we can write that is for first case yes so the first one we have a yes when the ship is steers when the ship steers steers to left right so when the ship is steered to the left the velocity is what given you have a that velocity v is equal to 30 kilometer per hour right 30 kilometer per hour so it is what 30 into 1000 by 3600 it will be in meter per second so velocity we got okay so velocity is uh, 8.33 meter per second all right then we will calculate the angular velocities of precision so we have a angular velocity of precision okay of precision right that is omega p we are denoting so omega p is equal to what v by r right so v is you calculated 8.33 and uh, it is a steer with the radius is what with the radius of 60 meter right so radius is 60 meter you'll got this angular velocities of precision omega p is equal to 0 0.14 radian per second right radian per second then we have a gyroscopic moment of inertia you can calculate mass moment of inertia right mass moment of inertia okay so mass moment of inertia is what i is equal to m k square so m is given of the ship is 5000 kilogram and the radius of gyration is 0 0.5 so you'll sub substitute and get this i is equal to 1250 kilogram meter square right so moment of inertia mass moment of inertia we got then we have a gyroscopic couple right then you can find out the gyroscopic couple so gyroscopic couple is what that you have a gyroscopic couple okay so gyroscopic couple is c is equal to i omega okay into omega p mass moment of inertia angular velocity is 
and angular velocities of precision. So mass moment of inertia is 1250. Angular velocities we have calculated at the starting itself, that is 2 pi n by 60. Is it or not? 220 radian per second. Okay, so you have a, this is the 220 into omega p is 0 0.14. So on calculation, you will get the values as 38,500 Newton meter, right? So this is what we got the gyroscopic couple of uh, the ship when the ship is sell at a speed of 30 km per hour and at a radius of 60 meter, right? Now we have to write down the effect of the gyroscopic couple. So first of all, I'll show you that question. The first bit is what? That first bit is the ship sells at a speed of 30 km per hour and steer to the left in a curve having 60 meter radius and you are viewing from the stern, right? And it is rotating in clockwise direction. So what will happen uh, that when view from the stern and the ship is steered to the left, the effect of reactive gyroscopic couple is to raise the bow and lower the stern. So you can write down the effect here, that effect for this first case, what is that? When, when view from, view from the stern, from the stern, right and and ship ship steers steers to left right to left then the effect of gyroscopic couple the effect of gyroscopic gyroscopic couple is to lower the lower the bow raise the bow and lower the stern raise the raise the bow raise the bow right and lower the lower the stone right so this is what you have a uh, effect when when the ship is uh, steering towards the left and viewing from the stone then what will happen it will raise the bow and lower the stone right next case is that next is what you have a just wait so the next case we have a that ship is pitching Pitching means what? That is, it's follow the simple harmonic motion, right? So the second case is given to you. There is the here is the second case. The ship pitches 6 degree above and 6 degree below the horizontal position. The bow is descending with maximum velocity. Time period is 20 second, right? So you have a amplitude is given. So here we'll go. So the second case is what? That case two you can say. When the ship pitches, when the ship pitches, right, when the ship pitches, so with bow descending, is it or not, with bow descending, right, with bow descending. So this is the case is given. So in this case, given is what, that amplitude is given. That amplitude is nothing but phi is equal to 6 degree above and below. So 6 degree you have to convert this into radian. That's 6 into pi by 180. So you've got the phi is equal to 0 0.105 radian. And time period is what? Time period is 20 second is given. Right? So first of all you have to calculate the angular velocities of simple harmonic motion. Why? Because in case of the pitching, the simple harmonic motion will be followed. Right? So you can find angular, angular velocity angular velocity of simple harmonic motion right of shm so omega 1 is equal to 2 pi by tp so 2 pi is 2 pi only and tp is 20 sec right so it is what 0 0.3142 radian per second that omega 1 we got then you have to calculate the maximum angular velocities right now so next we will calculate the maximum maximum angular angular velocity right so maximum angular velocity is nothing but omega max omega p max you can say right so uh, maximum angular velocity is of precision omega p max is equal to what phi into omega 1 so phi is you have 0 0.105 we calculated 0 0.105 into omega 1 is 0 0.3142 right so we got this that is 0 0.033 radian sorry uh, radian per second so omega p max we get that is angular maximum angular velocities of precision we got now we have a gyroscopic couple so we can say maximum maximum gyroscopic couple right maximum gyroscopic 
couple. So what is that? C max. So you have a C max is equal to I omega omega P max. All right. So I is same. That is 1, 2, 5, 0, which we have calculated. Angular velocity is also same, 220. And omega P max is 0 0.033. So on calculation, you'll get the values is what? 9075 Newton meter. So this is what you got the maximum gyroscopic couple in case of the pitching, right? 9075 Newton meter. Now you have to write on the effect of the gyroscopic couple, right? So in case of the pitching, so effect we will see that is what is the effect. So effect is what here that you can see uh, the ship is pitching, the bow is descending. So what, what will happen when the bow is descending? It means that the gyroscopic couple is to turn the ship towards the port side, right? So you can say uh, the ship is pitching, the ship is pitching, right, pitching with, with bow descending, right, with bow descending. Then the effect, effect is uh, the ship turned towards the port side. The ship turns, turns towards, towards port side, right. So whenever the ship is descending, uh, with bow, then the ship will be turned towards the port side. That is the starboard and port is there, right? Next, we have a, the third case we have to find out. That is when the ship is rolling, right? So third case, I will show you here. That third case, you can see the ship rolls at a certain instant if it has an angular velocity of 0 0.03. That is angular velocity of precision is given 0 0.03 radian per second when view from the stern. So you have to find out that is third case you can write here when when the ship when the ship rolls right when the ship rolls with what with angular velocities of precision is 0 0.03 radian per second so gyroscopic couple you can find gyroscopic couple right so same c is equal to i omega omega p Okay, so I is what? 1, 2, 5, 0. Omega we have calculated 220 and omega P is given 0 0.03 in case of the rolling. So the value is 8250 Newton meter. This is the gyroscopic couple you got in case of the rolling. As you know, there is no effect of the gyroscopic couple in case of the rolling, right? So no gyroscopic effect in rolling. So you can write no gyroscopic effect, effect when when ship rolls when ship rolls right okay then you have a maximum angular acceleration you have to find next you have to find out the maximum maximum angular acceleration angular acceleration during pitching right during pitching okay so in case of the pitching angular acceleration is what alpha max Alpha is the angular acceleration is equal to what? Phi into omega 1 whole square, right? So phi you have calculated that is given 6 degree, you convert it into radian. So it is 0 0.105 and angular velocity is uh, simple harmonic motion in case of the angular velocity is 0 0.3142 whole square. You'll get this value that is 0 0.01 radian per second square. This is the alpha max, right? So we got the angular acceleration, maximum angular acceleration in case of the uh, uh, pitching, right? So this is how we will solve the problem which is related to the uh, naval ship, right? So please do like, subscribe, comment and share this channel. Thank you.